the treatment of APL was clearly revolutionized by the combination of Atra plus arsenic uh, over the past 10 years in a large trial that demonstrated a very high rate of long-term remission and low rates of toxicity such that this combination of arsenic plus Atra has largely replaced other regimens uh, for acute promyelocytic leukemia. But there's still some question about the, the role of this uh, doublet regimen um, as it pertains to high-risk APL, high-risk being defined as patients with a white blood count of greater than 10,000 at the time of diagnosis. And this is a group that um, tends to suffer disproportionately higher rates of both early death and relapse. So earlier trials that had used chemotherapy plus ATRA um, on a limited basis, you know, yielded high likelihoods or high incidences of relapse, sometimes as high as 25 to 50% in this high risk patient population. Um, this was improved by adding ATRA to uh, the post remission therapy regimen uh, but still relapse rates would remain high. So um, the subsequent uh, uh, approach was to, to look at um, the use of arsenic plus atra, which had been so successful in the non-high-risk patient population and apply it to the high-risk population. And several studies have already looked at that and have demonstrated that the atra-arsenic combination uh, in the high-risk subset, even though the, the, the subset numbers were fairly small, uh, clearly um, improved outcomes um, compared to more traditional regimens. Uh, we, we conducted a, a study through the Southwest Oncology Group in um, the largest number of high-risk APL patients um, in one group treated with an arsenic trioxide-containing regimen to date. And this regimen uh, utilized arsenic trioxide plus atra plus uh, gemtuzumab ozogamycin given the high CD33 expression rate in APL and earlier data that indicated a high response rate and uh, long-term benefits with this triplet combination. Uh, so this, this study really um, in, enlarged that particular population and focused on the high-risk group only. And we found that um, by utilizing this triplet combination that the event-free survival was close to 80% at three years with um, a, a very low risk of relapse of so less than 10% um, at three years. And um, our study did incorporate the use of chemotherapy drugs in the post-remission setting, which we think um, affected compliance and caused some drop-off of patients that were enrolled. Um, but the, the message from this particular trial was that in a high-risk group of patients, this triplet combination of arsenic, atra, and gemtuzumab uh, was quite effective at inducing um, long-term remissions that were very durable. And hopefully will serve as the basis for future trials that may look to further dose attenuate treatment in this high risk population, possibly by removing some of the more intensive components of the post remission um, regimens, of the, of the post remission um, components of, of the regimen so that uh, patients have minimal or more minimal toxicity, but still retain that long term survival uh, benefit. So we feel that this combination, this regimen uh, of a triplet combination regimen is quite effective and has uh, the potential to induce long-term responses that um, we feel translate into an acceptable standard of care for these high-risk patients.